Michelle Geraldine, just to do a ceremonial signing of the book. And Your Highness, if you would please. Rahman al Rahim. Your Excellency, the Ambassador of France, distinguished senators, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends of the Jordan Museum. It is a pleasure to welcome you all to the launch of this wonderful and illuminating book. This co-publication by the Jordan Museum and the École Biblique et Archéologique Française in Jerusalem celebrates our shared past of encounter and engagement. The period covered by the Empire and the Kingdom saw the birth of our modern nation of Jordan and demonstrates that it was indeed built on strong foundations. It was a time when great political changes in Europe and Asia caused new countries to be carved out of crumbling empires. However, these new political entities did not lack a history for their peoples and for their sacred and secular places. This fascinating collection of photos and extracts from the texts of engaged visitors from the Ecole Biblique offers a rare insight into the life that went before our modern borders were set. The records of the Ecole's explorations of the Jordan Valley illustrate a vital link between a distant past and our fast-paced and ever-changing present. They remind us of our historic geographic context, from the Yarmouk River to the Dead Sea and stretching east across the Transjordanian Plateau. This is the landscape that formed a backdrop for our myths and our stories. It is also the landscape that embraced generations of farmers and storytellers, of merchants and mercenaries. These sepia images show a familiar landscape that welcomed our ancestors over so many centuries, many of whom fled persecution and penury in distant territories to find sanctuary in the future kingdom of Jordan. It is this dynamic interplay of migration and settlement that we strive to measure and record here at the Jordan Museum. Ours is an exciting and ambitious project that bases itself here in the heart of downtown Amman. From this beautiful and reflective structure, we hope to reach out to the city and to the country to offer our citizens a better understanding of what made us and of what makes us unique. Our mission is to record and research our past so that we can develop a better understanding of who we are today. The launch of this wonderful book reminds us that the Jordan Museum is so much more than a cabinet to display objects from our past. Of course, we have much to be proud of in that regard, and the rare treasures we possess in our collections are important visual and material records of past achievements. But the work of our museum goes far beyond that. We are in the process of creating a vibrant hub of knowledge creation and of sh knowledge sharing, led by our community of curators and researchers. In this regard, we greatly appreciate the enormous value of continuous and meticulous research. Indeed, research stands as one of the pillars of our museum's activities, along with exhibitions, education, and community outreach. Our focused research efforts include ongoing initiatives to involve the permanent exhibition, building on our priceless storehouse of treasures to further enlighten us all on context and meaning. And our research agenda also includes, includes the planning and design of new temporary exhibitions and the creation of dynamic and engaging education and community outreach programs, which we look forward to sharing with you upon the opening of the museum in the new year, insha'Allah. In working to expand our knowledge of past and people, we intend to assess our progress continuously with visitor market research and internal discussion and debate. Publications, ladies and gentlemen, such as the one we are launching today, remind us that properly presented research enriches the museum visitor experience and makes history real for a much wider section of society. They also keep to place our museum 
They also helped to place our museum in that dynamic flux of historical reevaluation and keeping us at the forefront of cultural developments in the kingdom. Research often requires accessible and illustrative publications to ensure that knowledge creation is shared and adds to a wider understanding of history and culture. The museum is therefore delighted to have been involved with the publication of the Empire in the Kingdom and it was a privilege to be asked to write the preface. This represents one of the first publications in a group of scheduled printings for this year. Our future publications will include children's books, reports on conference proceedings, exhibition catalogues, visual arts publications, research works and treatises. The subject areas that we hope to cover include archaeology, ethnography, modern and contemporary history, and technical areas such as fieldwork and conservation and restoration practices. This book, that showcases Jordan's diverse and rich history with beautiful photographs that otherwise might not have been available to the public, is a unique one. And I would like to offer my heartfelt thanks to Dr. Géraldine Châtelard and Father Jean-Michel de Targon of the École Biblique for your dedicated and informed work in selecting entries for the book. And indeed, it is a privilege to have the fourth meeting or fifth meeting of my family with you all today. You should be proud to carry on the tradition of the École with such dedication and such empathy. These 150 photos and text extracts chosen by you are sublime in their honesty. They are relevant because they are real and evoke moments captured in the normal course of the days and lives of our ancestors. It is impossible to know who we are if we neglect who we were. You have done us a great service in this regard. I would also like to thank Othman Hakous for his modern views of our ancient territories. He has forged a new link in the change of ages with his stunning visual record. And finally, I would like to express my pride in the work of the staff of the, Jordanian, of the Jordan Museum who helped to bring this book to print. It is an honor and a delight for me to serve as Her Majesty Queen Rania's Vice Chairman of this institution that she chairs with such professional and dedicated personnel. We have much to do in making this institution the beacon for research and reflection that it must be, but we are blessed with the physical and the human resources to achieve great things. God bless and enjoy your evening. Thank you.